everybody, welcome to Zindi. Um, I wanted to do a uh, more recent uh, video on how to decorate these keychains, specifically with decoupage or Mod Podge um, and loose glitter. So these are two um, acrylic keychains. This is a mini avocado and this is the three inch avocado. We're gonna do both of these together. Um, and we are actually going to use this Kiwi glitter, um, ultra fine glitter to put on the backs of these. So if you've seen some of my other videos, you know there's more than one way to um, glitter your acrylics. My favorite way has always been with Mod Podge or um, Decapodge, where you paint that onto the acrylic first and then you put the glitter on top. You can always mix it with UV resin or epoxy resin also. That can give you a good look also uh, as well, but this is my personal favorite. So this is what we're gonna do in this video. So we're gonna go ahead and take the backing paper off of both of these. Uh, for these particular keychains, we are putting loose glitter on the back and then we are gonna put vinyl on the front side. Uh, to remove the paper, you can just lift up the corner with an X-Acto knife or your weeding tool. And then once you get it started, it's pretty easy to get the paper removed. So we're gonna do that. All right. Now, one thing to be aware of with the acrylics, there is a front side and a back side. Um, a lot of times they look symmetrical, but most of the time they are not because most of these shapes I hand draw myself um, are made completely from scratch. So they're not always exactly uh, symmetrical front and back. So for this one, this is the back of the avocado and that's what we're gonna actually do. Um, so two options as far as the decoupage or Mod Podge you use. In the last video, I used this one, which is the Mod Podge Dishwasher Safe uh, Mod Podge. Or in this video, we're gonna use this. This is my new favorite, the Premium Decoupage. I just like how fast it dries. Um, I feel like I can work faster and get a better coverage the first time. But Mod Podge is also amazing. Just be aware if any Mod Podge or decoupage you're using, uh, try to stay away from the matte kind. A lot of times it'll give you a cloudy look on the other side of your keychain. So you want to stick to gloss. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to put some of this decoupage in this cup because I don't want to ever dip my dirty brush into my bottle of decoupage. Um, I do have these cool little bottles too. That's great to store your Mod Podge or Decoupage in that we're gonna have on the Zindi website next week. This is a brand new bottle and I haven't transferred this over to my little squeeze bottles yet. Okay, so. We got our Decoupage. So what we're gonna do, I like using a foam brush. This is all personal preference, but this is what I like to use. And we're going to actually put this on a piece of butcher paper just to save my mat. Okay, so to do this part, I just like to start in the middle and work my way toward the edges. You don't wanna go like this because this, that's a good way to get all your sides really dirty. So you wanna work from the middle and always brush outward. And you don't want a ton of decoupage. You don't want it to pull up. You just want a nice even layer of decoupage, not too thick not too thin. If you do it too thick, it'll take a really long time to dry. And if you don't smooth it out, you'll have parts of it that have really thick glitter coverage and take a long time to dry, and other parts that's really thin, and that's how you get real streaky looking glitter when you hold it up to the light. You normally always wanna do at least two coats of glitter depending on the color you're using, especially lighter colors. You'll probably want two coats. Um, and then also the type of glitter you use makes a huge difference. You wanna stick with polyester glitter, which is a higher end glitter than plastic craft glitter. Uh, polyester glitter just will give you better coverage. And then over time, it won't uh, fade. It'll keep its color. It won't tint your epoxy or your resin. It's just a much better glitter, better sparkle overall. Okay, so this looks pretty good. And we're gonna go ahead and do our little mini one at the same time. 
Same thing, you just want to not have too much decoupage, but enough that you can get nice coverage. All right, so we have that. We're gonna go ahead and open our glitter. This is Kiwi Polyester Ultra Fine Glitter. And be generous with it, you know, don't put just a tiny, tiny bit. You wanna put a generous amount. And then you wanna go back and just push that glitter in, make sure it's actually adhering well. This helps a lot with how many coats you have to do. Okay, from here, we're gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes, and then we're gonna go ahead and do another coat. All right, you guys, it's been about 20 minutes, and now we are gonna go ahead and do our second layer. So what we're gonna do is just shake off the excess. Move this to the side so we can save this glitter. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and do another layer. And you can usually tell if you touch it how dry it is. Like it should be pretty um, solid, almost hard feeling. Okay, so these are good to go. Let's get our decoupage. And some people prefer to use a different brush for the second layer. I tend to stick with the foam brush throughout the whole thing. And this decoupage dries clear, so I know it's gonna look like you're covering up all your prettiness, but it will dry clear and then you'll be able to see it. And when you're doing this part, if your glitter's trying to move around, that means it's not fully dry and you need to let it sit for a little while longer before you do your second coat. And same thing with this, you just wanna have, start from the center out, try not to get um, your Mod Podge or your decoupage on the sides of your acrylic. I'm gonna show you an easy way to clean it up if you do, um, but it just requires less work in the long run if you don't get a bunch of Mod Podge or decoupage on the side. And don't worry too much about the hole. Um, I'll also show you an easy way to clean that out if you get anything in there. And if you'd like, you can also use um, tape and tape these down so you don't, so they can't move around, but I like to actually move them around. Total preference though. All right, so there's our second coat and we're gonna put some more glitter on these. And same thing, just be generous with the glitter. We'll save the extra. And you usually don't have to wait the full 20 minutes. 20 minutes is a good safe amount of time to wait. Um, typically, if it takes longer than 20 minutes, then you're probably putting your decoupage on way too thick. Um, usually five to 10 minutes is plenty, but 20 minutes is safe. All right, so we're gonna push all that down. And then also with lighter colors, um, like this is a much lighter color than a lot of others, um, you might wanna do three coats. But once we get done with this one and we kinda look at it, we'll decide if we wanna do a third coat or not. But in general, lighter color glitters might need um, three coats, depending on what kind of look you want. If you want it to still have a little bit of a transparent look, then two is usually fine or even one. Okay, so we're gonna wait another 10, 20 minutes for this and then we're gonna go to the next step. All right, you guys, 
Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. That looks like pretty good coverage. I think we're gonna leave that as so. And then same with the mini. So we got two little sparkly avocados. All right, so for the vinyl, I already have all the pieces cut out. Um, I am going to apply the vinyl on the front side. I personally like to put the vinyl on the front and the glitter on the back in most cases um, because it gives kind of like a three-dimensional look and I just really like how that comes out. So we have several pieces we're using for these avocados. I went ahead and pre-cut everything. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of how important vinyl cutting settings are, this should be super easy to cut and weed. See these little eyes and mouth and stuff? So if you cut something like this and it's tearing it up or anything like that, spend some time and check your vinyl cutting settings. Um, also, a new blade will make a world of difference, especially if you cut a lot of glitter HTV or transparent glitter or any kind of metalized film, your blade will go dull really fast. So um, always, I'm a big advocate of not fighting with your machine, not fighting where it's a pain to weed and everything like that. So it really is worth it to take the time and really get your settings correct. Um, and it will make your life so much easier and all of this stuff so much more enjoyable. Okay, so let's get our vinyl pieces ready. Another thing is transfer tape. I know a lot of people are big fans of just using contact paper from the dollar store or anything like that, um, but using the right materials for the right for the job will also make a world of difference. You won't have any residue. It'll make your vinyl release easier. Um, everything just works better when you're using the correct items. Okay, so all we're gonna do is put all these pieces face down on the transfer tape. I'm gonna turn this over and let me get my squeegee. And we're gonna use our squeegee and just burnish it really well. All right, the little pieces are for our uh, mini avocado and then the larger pieces are for our um, mom avocado. I'm just going to put this backing back on there until I'm ready to use it. I'm just separating all these pieces. First piece we need for this particular thing is this lighter green piece. And then we're gonna layer this darker green piece on top of it. So let's just put all of our pieces together. So mom, baby, mom, baby. All right, and then mom, baby. There we go. And the little faces. Okay. So, we're gonna take our glittered avocado. So pretty. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and take the backing paper off of that. 
Now, whenever you get to this point, if you see on the back side of your acrylic, if it looks really milky or wet or anything still from the uh, decoupage or Mod Podge, um, you can still go ahead and decorate this side. You just don't want to seal it if you're going to seal it with anything until that dries completely. Because if you seal it, then any moisture will get stuck in there and it'll take forever to dry. Eventually it will, but it will take forever. Okay, so we're gonna do this part first. And just remember the cut files will only fit on one side of the acrylic. So it's important before you cut everything and glitter everything that you know that you're cutting the vinyl for the right side of the acrylic. Easiest way to do it, I usually just cut the vinyl and then I use the vinyl pieces and hold it up to the light um, to see what side matches. And then I glitter the opposite side. Rather than having to mirror and figure out which is which, I just change which side I glitter. Okay, so there's that. And then we're gonna put this over that. This uh, dark green is a holographic glitter green. Adhesive, the holographic adhesives are like some of my favorite. And a good way to remove your transfer tape is to roll it down, not actually lift it straight up. All right. And let's go ahead and put this little part. The little accent mark. I'm a big fan of these little details. I know they can be a pain to cut sometimes. And if you're not a fan of them, you don't have to cut them. But I just think these little details like this make a huge difference in the final outcome. Super cute. Okay, and then her little face. This particular face doesn't come with the avocado. I actually took this face off of one of our other acrylics. Um, I usually design different faces for different acrylics and then you can just kind of use them how you'd like for different acrylics. This one, these little eyes are from our uh, tortoise. So cute. There's the little mom. And we're gonna do the baby real quick. Same process. Remove the backing. And again, if this looks wet or anything, you wanna wait before you seal it, but you can still go ahead and decorate it, which ours doesn't, but if it does, you'll know what to do. So we have the mom and the baby, um, little acrylics. Okay, now from here, 
You don't have to seal the front, but you can. We are, in this video, going to seal the front so that we get a really dome, three-dimensional look. As far as the back, you do want to seal the glitter with something. Um, for this one, we're going to use UV resin to get that same glass dome look, but you can use triple thick, you can use uh, dimensional magic, you can use diamond glaze, um, you can use epoxy resin. If you want to have that glass-like look, you want to use epoxy resin or UV resin. Um, if you use triple thick or anything like that, you will lose a little bit of the shine on the back possibly um, but the front will be just the same so totally up to you what you want to do as far as that but like I said we're gonna use UV resin for this one so let's go ahead and do that okay we're gonna UV resin these little avocados all right so this is the UV resin we're using today um, I'm a big fan of epoxy resin, two-part epoxy resin, unless I'm doing single acrylics. If I'm doing just one or two, then I usually do the UV resin. But anytime you're doing several, like a 30, 20, even, you know, five or six of them, um, I would recommend using the epoxy resin. It's much cheaper. Um, it takes longer to cure, obviously, uh, but you will get, um, you get the best finish with epoxy resin. It's the strongest, it's, the, it's cheaper than UV resin, um, and the only real downfall that it takes so long to dry. Okay, so we have our little avocados. We're gonna put some UV resin on here. Um, to smooth it out, like to actually apply it, my favorite is a silicone brush, which is what I'm using right now. Um, a lot of people really like the uh, thin popsicle sticks. The silicone brush I just really like because I can just put it in the light uh, whenever these are curing. And then once uh, that's done, I can just pop the cured uh, UV resin off of the brush to clean it. So it's very easy to clean. And I feel like I get more control over with the silicone brush over the popsicle stick personally. But that's all preference. And all I'm doing is applying the UV resin to the center of the acrylic and then I'm using the brush to just pull it to the edges. UV resin does shrink under the light, so you don't want to use too little, um, but you want to, and you don't want to use too much where it goes over the edge, which it gets easier with practice on how much to use. But you can always add more if it shrinks um, and exposes the edge. You can always add more and cure it again. And I just like to stipple the brush like this. Just It helps me move it around and get it exactly where we want it to go without it going over the edge. Um, same thing with the hole. You just want to go around it without getting it in the hole. Naturally, the resin won't want to go over the edge unless you just put way too much or push it over the edge. And when you're doing this, you just want to move around where you can see it from different angles. That's the easiest way to see if you got everything. Okay. And then you do want to have a little torch or something to get any bubbles to dissipate. Okay, so I'm going to just hit that with that real quick. Wait a second and hit it again. A lot of times, UV resin, even though you've done it with the torch, um, you'll still get these little micro bubbles. 
Um, the way to not get that is to let it sit for a second and then hit it again, just to give it some time for those bubbles to surface to the top. Okay, we're going to hit this one with the torch. We're going to hit this one again, and you'll see those bubbles come to the top pretty quickly. I'm just going to turn this around, make sure I'm not missing anything. Looks good. We're going to hit it with the torch one more time. All right. Now we're going to put this little brush in here with it so it can cure. All right, so we have a 48 watt UV light. I'm just gonna set that over it. And then I do like to put aluminum foil around it too, just to help the light reflect back into it. I feel like it uh, cures a lot better that way. And we're gonna do 48 watt for 60 seconds and we're gonna do that three times. So we're doing the same thing on the back. Just turn it over. We're gonna hit them both with the torch. Turn it around, make sure we got everything. Let it sit for a second for any new bubbles to come to the top. A little spot right here. And a lot of times the glitter side will kind of want to soak in the epoxy more than the vinyl side. So sometimes you just got to add a little more. All right, we're gonna put this in there so it can cure with it and be our tester to know if it's done or not. All right, so we're gonna put our light. We're gonna put our foil. And it's the same process, three minutes. Okay. So we got that cured. Best thing to do is actually check the brush, fill the um, resin at the, on that to make sure it's cured. Because if this is cured, then that's cured. So you don't have to touch your uh, acrylic and ruin it just in case it's not done. All right, so we are good to go. So here's the back side of the little baby avocado. Here's the front side of the baby avocado. Here's the back side of the mom avocado. And here's the front side of the mom avocado. So there you have it. Two little complete avocados. So this one has a little bit of vinyl um, over the hole right here. This one does not, but I'm gonna show you real quick how to uh, push that vinyl out of the way and get a nice clean hole. Okay, so we are going to take this bead reamer and we're just gonna put it in the hole like this and twist it just to get any vinyl that's in there out of the way. That's the best way to cut your files too is to cut it without the hole. Most of the files will not have the hole in them, um, 
but if you do come across a file with the hole in it, it's best to just delete it and cut it without it and then use a tool like this to just clean the hole out after and get any vinyl removed. Got a little bit of decoupage in there too, and this will remove that. So you can see there how nice and clean that hole comes out like that. Same thing with this one. So we have our two little completed keychains. So let's go ahead and put that hardware on it. So you need jump rings and then the keychain hardware. So we're gonna need two jump rings. And then one key ring, and then we're actually going to use the, um, what do you call it? The chain from this one. For the baby. You just want to twist those closed like that. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. All right. Same for this. If the jump rings aren't open enough for you, you can just twist them open a little bit more. Depends on the acrylic. Some of them uh, they're already open enough to fit in the hole, and other ones they aren't. For the babies, you can attach them up here or you can attach them there. Depends on what you want to do. I'm going to attach mine up here. Or you can do have it have its own ring completely and do that. Actually, let's do that. Let's put a tassel on here also. Let's do let's do maybe maybe do it like that. Let's do a purple one. Why not? I like purple. And we're gonna put the tassel on here with the little baby. Which you can do the same thing with this. You can put another jump ring, have the tassel by itself. You can put the tassel down close to the keychain. Just depends on what you like. There we go. A complete little avocado set. UV resin front and back. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, the premium decoupage that we use in this video instead of the regular Mod Podge, we're gonna have this on the site um, within about a week. Um, so we should have it on the site next week. It's my new favorite. Um, and then in addition to that, we should have the little squeeze bottles that you can put the decoupage in um, to keep your decoupage uh, nice and clean and not contaminate it with glitter. Um, and then you can, it helps you save a lot too. Um, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank y'all so much. And y'all have an amazing 
rest of your day, night, morning, whatever time it is. All right, bye.